Tonight, Deborah Jay Z is following up on the Maryland Attorney General's scathing report detailing decades of sexual abuse within the Archdiocese of Baltimore. The findings reveal the church went to extraordinary lengths to protect accused priests, even securing deals with local prosecutors. WJZ investigator Mike Kelgrinch stays on the story live downtown with more on this cover up. Mike. Vic, we wanted to put a spotlight on more of these cases, and the report shows that law enforcement and the church colluded to protect the abusers at the expense of innocent children. A warning some of the details are disturbing. Behind the names of these alleged abusers in the Archdiocese of Baltimore are hundreds of victims still living with the pain. We're still struggling with facing that fear, knowing it doesn't make sense, but it has a hold. The Maryland Attorney General's report states, time and again, leaders failed to properly investigate, report, or remove the offending priests from positions with access to children. One example, teacher John Mersbacher, who's now in prison. The report cites numerous times victims and their parents tried to notify those in power about Mersbacher, and nothing was done. Liz Murphy, one of Mersbacher's many victims, sat down with me late last year. John Mersbacher going to jail would never restore my childhood. Or, or all that I had lost from his brutality. Another repeat abuser, Father Joseph Maskell. The report says the Archdiocese was made aware of abuse as early as 1966, but allowed him to remain in positions of power with access to children for decades, providing financial support of more than $242,000 a year in 2000. I would ask the church, and I was brought up Catholic, I would ask them to tell the truth. Just come on out and tell the truth. Father William Sims once lived with Maskell. The report states lawyers for the Archdiocese successfully worked to secure for Sims broad immunity from criminal prosecution in a deal with the Anne Arundel County State's Attorney in the 1980s. An assistant state's attorney wrote, I agree on behalf of the state's attorney's office not to prosecute Father Sims for any incidents of child abuse he discusses with county police investigators, no matter how serious and whether we already know about them or not. Abuse. Um, had been brought uh, to the attention of police, prosecutors, at least in one case, a judge, um, with no uh, meaningful action taken. When it comes to accountability, the report notes, there are a number of senior members of the archdiocese involved in and advising the handling of child abuse worthy of mention. And then you see the black lines. The five names that follow have been removed by the court. Archbishop Laurie has apologized for the past abuses and how they were handled. He says the church has radically changed and does not tolerate this conduct. Reporting live downtown, Mike Helgren, WJZ.